Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We're at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Tonight, the Brooklyn Nets taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Seventy Sixers control the tap. Simmons to Butler. Here's a chance from long range. His first effort off the mark. Russell into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Now pass stolen by the Sixers. to Butler. Has a chance. The shot by Butler. No. Russell with it up top. He'll run the offense. Jay Williams, kid from Jersey, rooted for the Nets growing <laughs> up. And where do you live now? Brooklyn. Of course, I'm following my favorite team, and these comments are probably going to sound biased because they are. But Brooklyn is a completely different place. Only five minutes outside Manhattan. It almost feels like a suburb of the city. And the fact that it's culturally relevant, it just feels like Brooklyn is the new place to be. Butler into the front court. They're down three. To Embiid. Harris's shot won't go. You see, Ed, this is what the refs need to start calling. The defender hit the shooter right around the waist, which made him lunge into a shot and took away all of his concentration for it. Here comes the screen. Wide open look, won't go. Woo, I'm telling you right now, he will not get a better look than that right there the rest of the night. Butler to Simmons. The drive, right to the basket. Simmons driving, but a shot no good. That's superb defense. That's a defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. To Russell. Shot clock, it's coming down to four. Now down to three. D'Angelo Russell he made his first effort, but not that time. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Screen coming. Beyond the arc. No good. That's great defense. Butler to bring it up. Down three. Jimmy Butler. First couple didn't go. That one is true. We talk so much about who are the MVP candidates, but there are other guys who are so valuable to their teams, and Jimmy Butler at the forefront of that list. I have a phrase that I use when I describe players like Jimmy Butler. It's called most valuable mentality. There are certain players that approach the game with a certain mindset every single day, that they will do anything, anything possible to win the ball game. He plays with his heart and soul every single possession and every night, and he will leave it on the court, but that means he can win the ball. Now a whistle and a timeout for Philadelphia as they'll discuss matters in what's now a three-point game.
Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Subbing in for and Philadelphia, number 12. And draws the foul. You never really want to foul a shooter, but if you do, ensure they're going to have a tough time converting. That's good knowledge of personnel. Ben Simmons, a couple of free throws on the way. 56% for his career. Knocks down the first. Goes two for two at the line. Brooklyn with the basketball. One minute remaining in the first quarter. Here comes the screen. Knocked loose. Taken by the Sixers. McConnell to MB. Here comes the screen. Oh, ben Simmons missed his first. That one goes. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. Simmons with it. Leads just a point. Oh, emphatic slam. Ah, and that transition offense was flawless. When guys fan out and actually fill the lanes with a sense of urgency, you heard me correctly, a sense of urgency, you will get a great shot every possession. Nothing going here on that drive. From 18 feet at the buzzer. That ends the first quarter. The 76ers have the lead. one quarter down both sides getting a feel for where this game is going yeah both teams have came out they play with great energy and they've also done an excellent job of establishing their own tempo they have to make sure they have to push through that and do more of that in the second quarter yes it drops a little drama on that one I get tired of hearing guys say, I was there, I contested a shot. I pretty much had a hand in his face. Well, no, you have to change up the game. If a guy is right-handed, he is right eye dominant. Get that hand over his right eye, block his vision. That'll enhance his chances of missing the shot. Deep two there, won't go. Dinwiddie with the basketball. They trail by one. Nothing going here on that drive. To Dinwiddie. Goes to the left side. Fires the three. Rebound cleared by Philly. To McConnell. Off the assist. And sometimes less is more. Keeping it simple is the best way. To Hollis Jefferson. To Dinwiddie. Down to five on the 24. To Dinwiddie. For three. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Simmons. Rebound taken in by the Nets. Dinwiddie into the front court. 10 all is our score. Nice pace, sets it up, and slams it down. 
Sixers call for time as they'll make sure they're aligned here in a two-point basketball game. We have both squads set to make some moves right now. Substitutions, Philadelphia. Simmons to Tobias Harris. They go down low to Simmons. Oh, ben Simmons. Three for six now. In the paint, you need to finish just like that. Russell into the front court. Right now, 12 all. that it's in the hands of Philadelphia Simmons out of bounds the call last touch by D'Angelo Russell Simmons to Tobias Harris Butler for two Jimmy Butler two of four now you see, you can't actually get mesmerized by the ball. You actually have to focus on the dribbler's belly button. I know that may sound cheesy, but trust me, he can't go anywhere without his core. And the reward, he's going to the line. I don't know about that one, Ed. I always thought your hand was part of the ball. Jared Allen at the line for two shots. For his career, 77% at the line. First free throw is good. them both Simmons to Redick down low for Harris scores from the post old school equals high percentage Russell with it up top they trail by two Nothing going here on that drive. Now a steal by Philly. That's called game plan execution to perfection. Every possession on the road is critical. Brooklyn's got it. Screen coming. Brooklyn with four to shoot. Hey, Let's it fly from long range. He engulfed him that time. Shooter shoot, period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Nothing going here on that drive. Simmons goes to the right side. Butler, that's off the side of the rim, no good. the screen trying to cash in shots no good you have to like the confidence but that was a difficult shot good a three at the buzzer everything going right so far as they've extended the lead first half in the books it's the Sixers out in front
Let's get right into the action here. The 76ers dominated this matchup from the opening tip. It was their playmaking, the way they gave each other scoring opportunities. That really impresses me. I love seeing unselfish basketball like that. Have a look at the leading scores for the Philadelphia 76ers. Have a look at the leading scores for the Brooklyn Nets. Game track. Steals. The Brooklyn Nets are trailing so far, and that's mostly due to sloppy ball handling. The ball security needs to improve if they want to stay competitive in this matchup. Player of the half. Simmons was lighting up the scoreboard in the first half. And I'm not sure the defense will be able to figure out what it'll take to slow him down. He looks like he's in a zone. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have off nights. Today has just been one of those nights for this guy. Here we go with the top plays. Number two. Number one. Thanks for joining us for the halftime report. The second half is about to get started. Russell into the front court. The margin standing now at seven. Knock loose. Joel Embiid sends it away. And he stepped out of bounds, turns the ball over. Sixers control it. Simmons to Tobias Harris. Nothing going here on that drive. Probing the defense. From the outside, no good. To Russell. Baseline drive to Russell. The Nets now with four to shoot. From long range. Oh, good offense beating good defense. Consistency wins a game. Sometimes you have to double down. I'm sure that's what their coach told them to do in the locker room. Keep shooting your shot. To Tobias Harris. Butler. Here's Simmons with it up top. They lead it. Four-point game. The Nets have the rebound. Russell with it up top. Looking to make something happen. Almost unlucky bounce. I agree. I thought there was a foul, but also it's all about your approach. You can't come down the lane and jump off one leg. It's called a power lift. Go off two legs and expect the contact. Nets have the basketball. Russell. Joel Embiid with a piece. That kid can block out the sun, Ed. From the painted area, won't go down. Over to the right side. Couldn't keep it in. Out off Tobias Harris. It'll stay Brooklyn basketball. Looks like some substitutions are coming on in.
pass as the Sixers come up with this steal. You know, Ed, sometimes you're just more ready to play than your opponent. The intensity and the effort is off the charts. Knocks it down from mid-range. Philadelphia with the basketball. Sizing up the defense. Driving is Simmons, but a shot no good. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time, but not him. He stayed on his hip, he fought back, and he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. Simmons with it. The lead is two. To Embiid. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. He climbed the ladder on that one. Well, the question is, how big is the ladder? He's still climbing. Dinwiddie with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Couldn't keep it in. Out off Spencer Dinwiddie. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Sixers have the basketball. Joel Embiid sends it away. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Shot won't go. To Butler. Here comes the screen. McConnell. Dinwiddie into the front court. His guys trail now by four. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. From somebody who loved to score a lot himself. Defensively, if you are guarding me in a parallel position, I can have whatever I want when I want. You have to force this guy to go one direction, make him go towards his weak hand, and then contest that shot. And he'll go to the foul line. No, no, no. I'll tell you, the team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reach-in fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. And hits the first free throw. Stepping in for the 76ers, number 43, Jonah Bolden. Two for two on that trip. It's Brooklyn's oh, ball. Yes, Take stock of the floor. To Dinwiddie. Shot clock winding down. Now a step back. What I like about Spencer Dinwiddie is that he's a worker. I remember he got hurt in his last year in college at Colorado, still decided to take a chance on himself, went into the draft, got drafted second round, and now I see him still defining and refining his game. One key from three-quarters court. That ends the third quarter. The 76ers have the lead. It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. McConnell to MB. Joel MB. Not a busy night, but effective. Two for two. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. To Russell. Knocks it down. Off the step back. 
D'Lo reminds me so much of Sam Cassell. He's not the fastest guy, but he gets where he wants to go anytime. The word that is key for him, potential, potential, potential. Will he be able to accomplish his potential? A drive by Butler, but his shot won't fall. Russell. Now pass stolen by the Sixers. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in the playoff game, it will. That's out. Last touch by Jared Allen. New blood coming in for both sides. Butler to Embiid. Nets have it. Ben Simmons with the block. Jesse racing mistakes left and right. And counted at the rim. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. It's in the hands of Philadelphia. Simmons. Russell into the front court. All tied up. Just underway in this fourth quarter. Nice pass to get things going. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. To Butler. Here comes the screen. Butler to Simmons. Nothing going here on that drive. That's no good. To Butler. Harris to Butler. The shot by Simmons won't go down. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Buries it on the catch and shoot. And the three-point shot of the offense applies so much pressure on the defense. You can no longer build your teams inside out. The new way, you build your team outside in. Short jumper won't go down. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. As a rookie last year, Ben Simmons averaged 16 points a game and posted 12 triple-doubles, the second most by any rookie in NBA history. Or was last year really his rookie year? We can debate that one later. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Can't connect from in close. And this is where you know you have the offense right where you want them. Every possession, all you see them doing is complaining to the ref, complaining to each other. You're making the game uncomfortable. That's the mark of a good defense. Russell. And this will be out of bounds. Off of Butler. Coach is going to shift gears and adjust his matchups. Number 17, JJ Reddick. Five seconds to shoot. Has a look. 
And they called the foul. Jay, he was there too late. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. And he connects on the first free throw. Goes two for two. Simmons into the front court. The deficit now up to five. Harris to Redick. To Simmons. Redick. To Butler. Oh, big finish at the rim. An easy two. Get back on defense. Russell with it up top. Up by three. Hey, double three. Joel Embiid able to recover with the block. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. Butler to Simmons. Deep left corner. Stuffs it down with authority. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. Dinwiddie with the basketball. His team up by one. To Russell. Here comes the screen. Russell. game wrap-up. The 76ers won in dramatic fashion, ending today's matchup with an incredible buzzer beater. You can see it again right here. You'll definitely be seeing this one on SportsCenter. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Philadelphia 76ers. It wasn't surprising to see this team on the losing end of this matchup. They weren't very good with their execution, and they suffered for it. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Brooklyn Nets. Game drive. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Simmons wasn't satisfied with just getting steals. He had to insist on getting a bunch of blocks as well. Now that's what I call defense. Who was cold? Every player that makes it to the NBA is a great athlete. But even the best players have their off nights. Today was just one of those days for this guy. These are the top plays of the game. Jalen Rose, 
signing off.